These problems have to do with variation, direct variation, inverse variation. And in these, actually, uh, we're varying with more than one thing. So you're probably used to direct variation where y varies di directly with x. And we have y equals kx. Or inverse variation where y uh, varies inversely with x. In this case, we're going to have y varying either directly or inversely with multiple things. And that's called joint variation. We can also have y varying directly with one thing and inversely with another, and that's called combined variation. So we're going to do problems like that. Let's take a look at this first one. It says, if t varies jointly with u and the square of v. So to write that out, t is the thing that's varying, so we put it over here on the left. We still have our constant, just like uh, we would always with a, a variation problem. And it varies jointly with u and the square of v. So it's just t equals k times u times v squared. And then we do this just the way we would uh, a direct variation problem. Uh, we're told that t is 1152 when u is 8. So we have k and then times 8. And v is 4 times 4 squared. So 4 squared is 16 times 8 is 128. So this would be k equals 1152 divided by 128, which is 9. And now it says find t when u is 5 and v is uh, 5. So t equals k, which is 9, times u, which is 5 now, times v squared, and that's 5 squared. So 9 times 5 times 25 is going to be our answer there, and it should be 1,125. So that's some joint variation. Let's look at another one. This one says, the amount of oil used by a ship traveling at a uniform speed varies jointly with the distance and the square of the speed. So amount of oil, let's call that A, varies with the distance, call that D, and the square of the speed, so speed squared, that's an S there. That's our formula. Now, if the ship uses 200 barrels of oil, so 200 barrels of oil, that's our amount, we have our constant, and then the distance traveling 200 miles at 36 miles per hour, so the speed, but remember that it has to be squared, so 36 squared. So from this we can determine k, and then we'll use that to do the next part. So let's see what we've got here. Actually, one thing I noticed before I start, you know, multiplying out 36 squared is that um, I could divide both sides by 200. We would just get 1 over here, so 1 equals k times 36 squared. And then we simply divide by 36 squared. So k equals 1 over 36 squared, which is 1,296. So that's our k. It's a fraction this time. That's not a problem. It can be that. And now it says, uh, determine how many barrels of oil are used when the ship travels 360 miles at 18 miles per hour. So the amount is what we're looking for. And we have our k. It's 1 over 1,296. And we have our distance, 360 miles. And our speed is 18. And remember, that has to be squared, because that's uh, how the formula works here. So we just do the math there. Let's see. I think if you chug that all the way through, you get A equals 90. And I do like to look back and see you know, if this could possibly make sense. In the first one, it, you, the ship used 200 barrels of oil going 200 miles at 36 miles per hour. And then when it travels further than that, but at a much slower rate, half the speed, it uses only 90 barrels of oil. So I guess what that's showing is that this is a much more fuel efficient speed to travel at. And that seems to make sense. Let's try one more. One of the neat things about these uh, variation problems is that they, some of them can be models for real things in the real world that people actually use. So, for example, something like this one. It says, designer dolls found that the number of its dress-up doll sold, N, 
varies directly with their advertising budget, A, and inversely with the price of each doll. So the way we'd write that formula, N, that's the number sold, varies directly with advertising budget, so K times A, and inversely with the price of each doll, so we put the P on the bottom of the fraction. So this is a combined variation. It has both direct and inverse variation in it. Now it says when $54,000 is spent on advertising um, and the price of each doll is 90, then 9,600 units are sold. So let's plug that in. We'd have 9,600 units. We have our K. The advertising budget is 54000 and the price of the doll is 90. So let's uh, chug out the math on that. Let's see, 9,600 times 90 divided by, yeah, so 9,600 times 90 is 864,000. Um, and then you'd want to divide that by 54,000. And that actually comes out to 16. So K equals 16. Now we can go out on the next part. It says determine the number of dolls sold. So we're looking for N here. If the amount of the advertising budget has increased to 144,000. So we're looking for N. We have K now. It's 16. The advertising budget is 144,000. And the price of the doll is still 90. So we just crunch that away. 16 times 144,000 divided by 90. And you get 25,600 dolls sold. So that's a little bit about joint and combined variation.